Testing Basics, thank you very much for watching. Today we are doing cashmere, which I am really, really excited about. I'm kind of new to the world of cashmere, it's never something that I've really invested in with my knitwear. It's safe to say I'm definitely converted and understand why it is something that people feel so worthwhile in investing in. Um, I've just really liked wearing it, it has been really warm, it has been really, really soft. Obviously it's a very expensive material and cashmere jumpers do tend to be a lot of money. So we have five here from High Street to High End as always. They're all 100% cashmere so I think this is going to be a really interesting one because it is a complete level playing field. They are all made of the exact same material 100% so it'll be interesting to see how much variation is possible within that. How they all wash, I am going to be washing these, I know that is so important when it comes to knitwear. And just if they're worth spending over £300 on cashmere when you can get it for £70 somewhere else basically. So let's get into this. They're all going to be inside out as well because I've been wearing them. But the first one I have is from Uniqlo. This one was, how much was this one? £69.90. Whenever I mentioned to people that I was doing testing basics on cashmere, everybody said you have to try Uniqlo. It's the best cashmere on the high street. It was definitely one of the cheapest that I found. I didn't find any cheaper anywhere else in all the places that I looked. So that is very impressive. I just went for the classic crew neck style. They do have a few different styles available and they also have cardigans and things like that. This is their classic crew neck in charcoal grey. I got it in size medium so it would be slightly oversized. Um, it fits me really well. If you wanted a tight fitting jumper then definitely go for your normal size. If you want a bit of extra breathing room go one size up or two sizes if you want something that actually looks oversized. This just looks nicely loose rather than oversized on me. So that was Uniqlo, £69.90, size medium and of course 100% cashmere. Next up from there we have John Lewis and this is a John Lewis's own brand jumper as well. Um, also inside out. <laughs> I really like the style of this one, I probably like the style of this one a little bit more than the Uniqlo one because it has a high neck and I really like high necks. Um, it is in a light grey, has this high neck like this here, a seam down the middle, I'm kind of on the fence of how I feel about those, they're not my favourites but it doesn't put me off something. Um, and it has also small splits up the side which makes it tuck in at the front of jeans really really nice, it gives it a nice... It makes it hang in quite a nice way when you've got that split. So that'd be something to bear in mind if you like that style. This was £89, so pretty much £20 more than the Uniqlo one. To touch, when I'm touching them both together, this is 100% softer. It kind of almost feels like it's got a fuzzier layer on it and it just gives it a super soft feeling. They're all obviously incredibly soft, but so far this is the softest one. Um, and yeah. Really, really, really like this one. I do really like that high neck a lot. So that was John Lewis, £89. One up from there, also inside out. Um, this one's been gifted to me. This one is from Lara Dutes. It is £119. And I got it in this beautiful navy colour. Out of all of them, this one is my favourite styled one. It's similar fit to the John Lewis one, but without that seam down the middle, which is what I like. Um, again, it's got a high neck, a super relaxed fit to it. Sizing wise I've got mine in a, it doesn't say on there, just a second. Oh the John Lewis one I got in a size 10 by the way, I forgot to mention that. This one is in a size 10 to 12 and it fits perfectly. I love the oversized relaxed fit this has, I think it's so nice. Again, let me see which is the softest so far. This is as soft as the John Lewis one, definitely as soft as, yep equally soft to John Lewis so super super soft basically. Moving up from there we have a brand which I had never heard of until I started my quest for cashmere and that is Johnston's of Elgin. It's a Scottish cashmere brand. They pretty much have, it's all knitwear, I think it's almost all cashmere items and they have various things in cashmere, also cashmere accessories. They're the only brand out of all the ones that I looked at that did cashmere knitwear in different textures of knits so you can get chunky knits, waffle knits, things like that, whereas all the others, all of this thin knit style that I've got here, so that would be something worthwhile if you were after a certain texture of cashmere knit. It is definitely a much more premium price, this one was £239. I'm interested to see how this one goes because it's from a brand that pretty much specialises in cashmere, so you would expect quite a lot from it, um, so I do have high expectations of this one. I went for a classic black turtleneck because you just cannot have too many of them. Um, sizing wise, I think I got this in a small, like my normal size. Um, 
I do have one negative thing about this to say already actually which I'll say in a minute yeah I got this one in a small what I don't like about this is that it doesn't have a label in the neck so I can never tell if I've got it on the right way around or not I'm assuming that means you can wear it either way around because I've not got a clue if I've been wearing it back to front or not so that's kind of annoying fit wise it's actually not the best and um, I have done a turtleneck testing base it's in that I said I like it to be really tight over the top of your boobs here and also sit tight going up the neck and this does neither of those the neck is quite wide and it sort of has a strange bagginess kind of just under your armpit so I'm not overly impressed with the fit of this one so far softness wise it's the least soft as well um, not as soft as even the Uniqlo one nowhere near as soft a touch as the Lara do and the John Lewis one whether that means it's like a more sturdy cashmere I'm completely making this up I don't know if that is a possible thing but yeah not overly impressed with this one of first impressions and finally at the most expensive spot we have Chinti and Parker this was 325 pounds oh I think that's so so expensive for a jumper um now Chinti and Parker do lots of kind of novelty wear pieces lots of printed things very colorful things if you wanted like a really fun jumper i definitely recommend them as a brand i went for sort of the least fun one that they have but it still has a little bit of something going on it's this black one with the white stars on it which also have three along the back it's weird because it has on the label on the inside i got this in size medium by the way it has orange thread which shows through the back there but in a weird messy way i'll show you a close-up of that i don't really get that and it also has CP written here for Shinty and Parker. Um, fit wise, it fits really nice. Similarly to the Uniqlo one, it just gives me a slightly loose fit. It's by no means oversized. Very, very soft. Similar softness to the John Lewis and the Lara Duke one. So this is coming up in the softest category. Um, definitely a bit of fun. Like I do really, really like the stars. And it's great to just wear with jeans and a jacket. And super easy, but a little bit more exciting to usual. However... This was over £300. Looking at it, I don't think this looks like this is over £300. It doesn't feel any better than the other ones, yet yeah, this was over £300. I just think that is so expensive. So, we shall see how we get on with it. Um, it's definitely fun though, I definitely feel like at least I've got something exciting for my money with that star print. Okay, that was all five jumpers. Um, you know how this works. I'm going to now wear them over the next five days, show you how I'm wearing them. I'm then going to risk a lot for you guys and put these in the washing machine. Um, I've said before how hand washing stuff makes it really high maintenance I feel and I ended up wearing stuff less and especially when you're spending a lot of money on something you want it to be a low maintenance piece so you can wear it as much as possible and get that cost per wear down and if you hand wash something I just can never be asked to hand wash stuff so I'm going to try and put these in the washing machine and um, I have a sneaky feeling it's going to be okay because I, I think the trick is to not let do a hot wash obviously so as long as they don't come in contact with hot water the wool shouldn't contract and they shouldn't shrink and it should be okay fingers crossed but we shall see i'll let you know how that goes and yeah let's get on to the next bit okay so this is the first day of knitwear wearing and i've got the lara Duke one on we've just got back in from an evening out at the christmas market so i've had it on for quite a few hours got it on these are some page denim jeans some acne jensen boots my under the stories coat and i have a hat and scarf as well it's been super 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 comfy all day long and um, been nice and warm and the good thing is that it hasn't bobbled anywhere along the sleeves where it's sort of been rubbing against our body so that's the main thing and it'll definitely depend on how it washes obviously as with all of them but i've loved how it looked i love the navy color and it's just been warm and soft which is everything you could possibly want from a knit so so far definitely getting a thumbs up i'm very very pleased with this one Hey guys, I'm um, sorry if you can hear the dishwasher in the background. The dishwasher is dishwashering. It is Sunday, it's day two of Testing Basics and Cashmere Jumpers. Got the Johnson's and Elgin one on today. As at the beginning, the fit of this one does feel a little bit off, but I still really like it despite that. Um, it is definitely a thicker cashmere than the Lara Duke one that I had on yesterday, but not as soft. So interesting to see whether that means it's going to be warmer more comfortable honestly i don't think i'm going to find a single one of these jumpers uncomfortable because they're all cashmere and knits and that's a comfortable thing anyway gone with an all black outfit today a bit lazy really it's just sunday and i'm just nipping out i've got on these tailored pants from lara Duke. they're like my current favorites i'm absolutely loving them my asos boots and then i'm also just going to wear this asos black coat i feel like i've not worn a proper all black outfit in ages and i am a big fan of all black I've just been neglecting it a little bit I'm just going to pop this coat on and then also 
this scarf from Kos, and they do these every single season in different colours and they're the best wool scarves on the high street without a doubt they are so warm and wonderful and definitely recommend these so this is my finished look a little bit boring i'm afraid and as i said i'm just popping out but i'll leave the knit on all day okay so i've had the shinty and parker jump on today obviously very different backdrop i'm here on a trip tonight with pandora which you'll have like seen in my weekly vlog if you watch those um but yeah i've had this on i can't really show you my full outfit because the light's really low but i've just had on my under the stories boots and then these deconstructed jeans from asos they're like this i've just had it tucked in at the front and then a long black coat um, the camera won't focus because it's too dark and because I'm on my own I can't get anyone to focus it so sorry about that today um but yeah I've really liked this knit it's been warm comfy but so had the Laradu and the Johnson's Belgian one so at present I don't see any point in paying more for the knit than the Laradu one um, which is the cheapest one I've worn so far the stars are great, but not worth over £300. I don't think it's worth spending that much more. It does bring a bit more to it, and it makes the outfit a bit more exciting, but it's just so much money for not very much extra. Um, again, I think it will mostly come down to how it washes and really telling whether or not it's worth the extra money, whether it makes any difference in that sense, because so far wearing it has just been exactly the same as the other ones. Um, but yeah, God, sorry, my hair is just so awful. <laughs> need to go get ready for the evening now. Um... I'll give you more updates once I've washed them basically, there's not moat, there's not much more to say, it's all a very level playing field at the minute. Hey guys, I've had the John Lewis jump on today, I look like a right scruff now, I've just got back in from London, it's been a long day, but this is really really soft, possibly the softest, but I need to feel them all at the same time to be sure, but it's extra extra soft, um, same as all the others, I've just got nothing much to say about it, yes it is a jumper, yes it's been warm, yes it's been very comfortable, but they all have so far, so feeling oh god how many times have i said it decision making is going to come down to the wash i think styling wise i look like an absolute mega slob um i've just had on these asos jeans by stan smith it's too cold for trainers guys don't make the mistake i've made today this giant asos scarf that i'm wearing all the time and then my velvet warehouse bomber i literally this is just not the best outfit for me and i'm sorry about that guys um one more knit to go the uniqlo one I would wear that one tomorrow and probably say the exact same thing as I've said for all the others so far. Okay, I've had the Uniqlo one on today. We're in a hotel because we are going away tomorrow morning. Uh, so that's what this different background is about. Um, same as all the others, it's been really comfy. It's been really, really warm. I've had it on with my straight leg Levi 501s, my Gucci loafers, the blister on the back of my foot from the testing basic flat boots is still so bad I'm like reverting to backless shoes while this recovers and then my Celine leather jacket very casual because I've just been sat in a car driving down to Stansted all day but yeah it's comfy the same as all the rest basically I've liked how it looked though and I do like this colour a lot and it's quite a nice high crew neck which I like as well so comfy and cosy Okay, so I've just taken all of these jumpers out of the wash this morning. They all went in the washing machine. I, on my washing machine, have a setting that's like wool slash hand wash, and it puts on a 30 degree wash at 900 spin. I think the 30 degrees is the most important bit. You mustn't put them in a hot wash, but at that washing setting, they've all been absolutely fine. I just used some mild hand wash detergent, which I think is called Woolite, um, in the washing machine with them and they're all absolutely fine i'm so relieved that was very nerve-wracking putting all of these jumpers in the wash and um, i'm so pleased it means i know that i'm going to wear them so much more knowing that i can just chuck them in the wash once i'm finished wearing them so definitely you can hand wash your cash not hand wash blah you can so you definitely do not have to hand wash your cashmere put them in the washing machine at the right setting and then i just dried them on my heated drying rack and they're all absolutely fine i feel like that is such a result i'm so pleased so let me go through my favorites as they've all washed fine and the texture of them hasn't changed at all they're all still as soft as they were um there's not much of an update from when i was wearing them each day and what i can say i was wondering whether the washing would be the moment where some of them really changed or would there was a clear winner from them but as an overview i really like them all they're all really soft jumpers i know i'm going to wear them all a lot moving forward um, but the bottom line is that I don't think you need to spend over £200 on cashmere at all. I don't think you need to spend over £150 on cashmere at all. Which means the most expensive ones are coming in bottom place. I'm actually going to put the Johnstons of Elgin one at the bottom. This was, I believe, £275, something like that. 
Um, and the fit just isn't good enough. I think even if it wasn't cashmere, the fit isn't good enough for a jumper that, that, is, that is that expensive. And now seeing as that it hasn't performed any better than the cheaper ones, I absolutely do not think this is worth the money, basically. Um, if it fit beautifully and it was like a turtleneck that I was like, this is just gorgeous fitting and looks incredible, then I'd be like, okay, maybe, but I'm not feeling like that at all. So bottom place, I'm putting the Johnstons of Elgin one, which is disappointing. I was half expecting this to want to do so well with it being a specialist cashmere brand, but you can even see how wide that neck is. Like for a skinny turtleneck as well, I just don't think that's the best. By the same merit, up next I'm going to put the Gentian Parker one, absolutely not worth over £300. If you want a jumper of this style and love the designs, then yes, they are worth that. If you absolutely love them and they do have really cool designs and they're really good fun and if you want that and you love them, then yes, they are worth the money because you get a great quality jumper for that money. But I personally will not be in a rush to buy another one of their jumpers and to spend this kind of money on cashmere again. Over £300, it just had to be an absolute stellar jumper. You see what I did there with the stars? And while it's done well, again, it's washed away. I've loved wearing it. I really have liked wearing it. I've loved how it's styled up. But you can get jumpers with stars on them for not over £300. And I just don't think that the design alone makes it worth that much more than the other ones. Um, but washed fine, was super comfortable, super soft. Definitely softer than the Johnstons of Elgin one, which is another reason why. I want to put this in the last place it just I mean it's probably the roughest out of all of the ones that we have here so you know not the best and wouldn't recommend spending over 300 pounds on these really unless you're an absolute sucker for these designs and love them and love the style then you are getting a good jumper for the money but you can get equally good ones for less so that leaves me with the Uniqlo the Lara Dude and the John Lewis I recommend all three of these equally. Um, the most expensive one's the Lara Duke, which is £119. The cheapest was Uniqlo at £70. Do I think there is a £30 difference between them? Yes and no. Quality-wise, no. I think that they're very similar in the quality, but for me, I really liked the design of the Lara Duke one, so I know that I'm probably going to wear that one more. Um, well, I don't know which order to put these three in now because they're all really good. I almost want to talk about them simultaneously, but it's going to be confusing. I'm going to put the Uniqlo one in next. No, I'm not. I'm going to put the John... No, I'm not. Oh my god, I do not know which one to put next. Right, I'm going to go with the Uniqlo one next. Um, just because it's slightly not as soft as these other two, and these are all such great jumpers at such great prices, I'm going to be super, super picky in reasoning why they're not going to come at certain points, but... No, maybe I should put this higher because for £70 this is such a good cashmere jumper. Oh my gosh, I do not know what order to put these in. Right, I'm going to stick with this. Uniqlo is coming in third place. <laughs> this is so hard to decide this one. It's not as soft as the other ones. Design wise, it's so super plain. The fit of it is lovely, but it has nothing exciting going on about it. I think cashmere has a certain quality that makes it hang on the body in a really nice way and it tucks into jeans in a really nice way and I didn't find that this jumper did that in a particularly better way than say a thin wool jumper would that would be much more affordable so while you get the warmth and the softness of the cashmere as added benefits generally like the styling and the look of the jumper I feel you could get for a lot cheaper and also get for a lot cheaper at Uniqlo because they have so much good knitwear however for £70 I absolutely do recommend this and their cashmere it's washed perfectly, it's been warm, it's been great. If you want a cashmere jumper, then definitely go to Uniqlo and have a look for them because it's so affordable and absolutely no flipping different to look at, to touch or anything to the Shinty and Parker one, which was just £300 more than this one. So absolutely great jumper. Right, these two are both kind of vying for the top spot because I really like how they look. I like how they look more than the Uniqlo one. And for me, if I like how something looks, obviously I feel like I'm gonna wear it more, it's worth spending a little bit of extra money on. So I recommend these two of this style equally, I have to say. They're both incredibly soft. Again, they've both washed fabulously. They both look great on. They've both been easy to wear, great to style up, warm, all of those things. So I'm just gonna order them in preference of how they look. Which means in the next spot, I'm gonna put the John Lewis one in. The main reason this is losing out to the Lara Duke one is that I just don't like this seam down the middle as much. I prefer to not have it there. Um, but I do really, really love the colour of this. It's got a really nice ribbed um, effect on the neck, which means it just sits really nicely. It sits way better than the Johnson's of Elgin turtleneck does. Um, I know they're not exactly the same, but there should be a massive difference with that price difference. But for, was this one 
90 pounds, I think this was 89 pounds. It's such a great style jumper. Like you can even wear this around the house when you get tired of wearing it out and about because it just kind of has a lounge wear feel to it, but in a really cool way. I think it's an absolutely great jumper. Definitely recommend. Leads in first place with the Lara Du, which just is just getting the first place, and it really is just because the Uniqlo and this one and the uh, John Lewis one are absolutely great. But this one, I love the style of it so so much. I love how it looked tucked into jeans. I think going forward, this will be the one that I reach for to wear the most because of how it looks on. The neck is absolutely gorgeous, and um, no seam down the middle. Lovely long sleeves. It's got a slight um gathering around the waist you know when you kind of get that ribbed thing which pulls it in slightly which just makes it even more flattering over skinny jeans and if you want to tuck it in a little bit it looks really 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 great on and I think for the price of £119 it's absolutely worth every single penny when you're getting something which looks this great feels this great is this warm and everything like that so I'm going to put this one in first place but as I said I recommend Uniqlo, John Lewis and Lara Duke for cashmere. They're my three top spots for cashmere. Don't think you need to go and spend over £200 on cashmere at all, of course. By all means, if you want to, if you love the design of something, then go for it. I, however, do not think it's necessary and I will not be spending that much money on cashmere again. Um, up next, I'm not sure what to do next for testing basics. I'm thinking maybe faux fur or a different style of coat. I'm not sure, so leave me any requests in the comments, please, and I'll make sure to have a look through them and then decide what to do next. Um, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed it. Thank you so, so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.